In Imperial Doctor's video, some audience ask, if Imperial Doctor was a high-pressure, high-risk work, why people liked to become the Imperial Doctor? In my opinion, one important reason is Imperial Doctors were government officers, although their ranks weren't high. Now, I have a question for you. Why the imperial cooks were government officers? In the Forbidden City, kitchen was called Yu Shan Fang, imperial cook was called Yu Chu. Generally, imperial cook wasn't government officer. But if the imperial cook got empress favor, the emperor may give him a lower rank government officer title. For example, Qian Long once gave his favorite imperial cook, Zhang Dongguan, a level 6 government officer title. In official historical documents, there wasn't record about normal imperial cook's salary. According to some private records, we guess the salary for normal imperial cook was about 4 tails silver per month. But imperial cook usually could get reversed from the emperor. So we believe imperial cook could earn many money. Because Qing Ruyu family was Manchuria people, they had their own taste. So, for imperial dog cook, Manchuria people were much more than Han Chinese. If people wanted to work as imperial cook, what capabilities he needed to have? First, this is the most important one. The person needed to have a father who was imperial cook? Yes, imperial cook was a hereditary position. Meanwhile, imperial cook only was allowed to teach his sons his cooking styles. Because in ancient China, after the girl got married, she wasn't considered as the member of her original family. She must use her husband's family name. In ancient China, doctors weren't recorded on her original family tree. So, when imperial cook retired, his son could get his position. For example, in Nur Hachi's time, there was an imperial cook called Ya Ge Mu. He was really good at cooking lamb. His position was passed to his son. When Qing Emperor conquered Ming, the imperial cooks also came to Beijing with the royal family. Besides, after Ming ended, a part of Ming imperial cooks were allowed to stay and serve the Qing royal family. If a people wasn't born in imperial cook family, he still had a chance to cook for the emperor. So the second opportunity to work as imperial cook required a person had excellent cooking skills. For example, Qian Long's imperial cook Zhang Dongguan originally lived in Suzhou. During Qian Long's Strauss tours, he loved the dishes cooked by Zhang Dongguan very much. So, Qian Long brought Zhang Dongguan back to the Forbidden City. The third opportunity of becoming an imperial cook required a person had enough lucky. For example, Cixi once wanted to eat Yu Jia Gao, 
Fried rice cake. Fried rice cake was a common street food, so a lucky fried rice cake maker came into the Forbidden City and became imperial cook. When Qing last emperor Pu Yi left the Forbidden City, imperial cooks lost their jobs, but do not worry for them, because. They could easily find new positions, or they could open restaurants. For example, Beijing had a restaurant called Fang Shan, which is located in Beihai Park. This restaurant opened in 1925 by several retired imperial cooks. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.